Hey guys, welcome back. So a week ago, one week today, I showed, uh, I recorded the video of my uh, Hoss 48 cell seed starting kit. Now I'll show you some footage from that here in just a second. I've been gone for a couple of days for work, but come back and things are starting to come up out there in the in the cell. So I will show you, I'll show you some footage of that here in just a second and uh, let you see what, how things are going. But today, what I did was I also purchased the 24 cell kit. Now, the 24 cell kit is two of these 12 cell trays, okay? Um, same same quality material, very nice. Got the uh, humidity dome and the, the bottom tray. Uh, all that's included in the kit. It comes with the um, seed starting mix and the organic fertilizer right here. Um, and again, don't open this in the house like I did. Um, and I've got a few seeds also from. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to start one of these trays with some um, peppers. So I'm going to plant 12 pepper plants today, uh, get them started in this kit. Now peppers, uh, of my experience with peppers, it takes longer for them to come up. Um, I'm going to put those on some uh, bottom heat, a uh, heat mat and um, use the humidity dome to get that going and I will um, I'll show you my setup here in just a moment too of, of where I'm where I'm starting my seeds but with this seed starting kit the 24 cell kit again you get the tray you get the uh, seed starting mix the organic fertilizer and the the um, row markers and the little uh, garden pin or marker whatever they call that sharpie so again all the same type quality stuff but I also did want to show that that kit as well as I start, start these uh, these pepper plants. So let's get started on uh, mixing up our seed starting mix and our organic fertilizer. All right, so just like what we did on the 48 cell, if you've not seen that video, go check it out. Uh, I'll put a card for that up here. But um, just like what we did on that kit, we got some really good packs here. So. Again, I'm just going to dump the seed starting mix in a bucket. Now, this mix should be enough for 24 cells, just like it was in the 48, where I started both both trays with one bag. It's going to do the same thing here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mix it up, mix the whole thing up, and then I'll be starting my other my other tray here in a week or two. I'm going to put a few uh, tomatoes in that here in a couple weeks and I'll show you that but again I'm just going to mix this up real good there we go perfect and then get it put in my tray Now I know I've seen some comments. Uh, if you're not seeing, Hulse has a um, row by row. They've got a row by row show, YouTube show that they do every Thursday. You really can learn a lot from them there, and it's also good entertainment. But um, they've got a row by row Facebook group. If you've not seen that, check it out. And there's just always folks in there talking about the garden, what they're doing, asking questions. Just a really good, unique community. Um, but I saw somebody in there comment the other day about, you know, how putting in the dry mix and then putting the sea starter mix in dry and then wetting it. You know, some folks have said they've had trouble with that. But I, with this mix, it is really taking the water well. That Those first sales I did did not have that issue. So I've been, uh, been very impressed with that. So just like I did on the other, I'm going to wet this wet this down and um, get some seeds in it in just a moment so just like we did before I'm just going to water these in real good there we go I'm going to put the tray on there to catch some of that water so it doesn't go all over everything here I think I'm not going to make a mess. So anyway, I got these. I've got these watered in. I'll let this water soak in for a minute. Do this a couple more times, and I'll be back with starting some seeds. All right, guys. I got this all wetted in real good. So I'm just going to put me a couple, 
finger size divots in there. That one sails a little bit low on dirt. Which seed started to make, excuse me. I'm gonna put that in there, divot that. Wet it in a little bit. There we go. Alright. Now, the seeds. So, what I'm planting today is some of their. Uh, I'm not sure how you say it, the pepperoncini, pepperon, pepperoncini. <laughs> so um, my wife loves cooking with these, and um, so she buys the the jarred one, uh, yes, the pickled jar pepperoncinis, and cooks with them a lot. So I'm gonna try some this year, first time I ever planted these, and some jalapenos. Now I want to with the jalapenos this year. I want to try to make some cowboy candy. I've, I've had it at a few different places now. I love that stuff, man. It's good. I bought it at the store, but I know homemade, growing the garden is going to be a whole lot better than that. So this is what I'm planting today. Um, all right, that's soaked in pretty good. So let's get these seeds in. So uh, this is a 12 cell tray, and. I'm going to put probably two seeds per cell. I'm going to plant six of each. These that I can't pronounce, pepper, pepperoncinis. Get them. You know, I said my wife likes to cook with these, and that is true, but I love eating them and whatever she's cooked. So uh, I'm looking forward to having some fresh ones. Alright, so I've got a mark. What I'll do when I get them up there under the light is I'm actually going to take these out and set them just underneath them like that. And I'm also going to make sure I put the humidity dome on there because these peppers need a lot of humidity, a lot of heat in there to help get those, uh, get those germinated and get them going up. So um, I will do that when I get them up, up to the house. So my seed starting area is actually my utility room up under my garage, inside my garage. Um, it's an enclosed room. The uh, hot water heater is in the room also. And I found it stays a very consistent, at least right now, a very consistent 60, 60 degrees. Um, we got down, I think, into the mid-40s last night. And it, it, when I come out there early this morning to check on things, it was um, 60, 61 degrees in there. I've got a couple of thermometers that are watching the temperature, and everything seemed to be holding good. So what I've got up there is I've got two four-foot LED shop lights that I've got over um, the 48-cell kit. Uh, plants and like I said those are starting to come up a little bit I'll show you a little footage of that and then um, what I've done with the the one tray that I just did with, with my peppers the the um, 12 cell tray from the 24 cell kit um, I've got the heat mat up on a shelf up it's just a big storage room shelf in there and so I just got it sitting on a shelf and a heat mat in there with a thermostat I found last year I used that that heat mat without a thermostat and it got it got too hot so I've got a thermostat on I think I've got it set around 70 something degrees for the peppers and um, we'll see how that goes um, I've got the humidity dome over the peppers and then I've got just a small uh, a clamp light shining light on it it's got with the LED bulb in it so it's not generating heat it's just putting a little bit of light on the tray I did that so once the peppers do germinate they'll have a little bit of light and then once everything gets germinated I'll take it off the heat mat and I'll put it down below 
on under my um, LED shop lights so that they've got good light down there. I'm going to try that this year, see how it goes, and I'll bring you guys along and let you know uh, my results. Um, so I appreciate you watching this video. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff as they, as they like to say here on YouTube. And uh, keep watching for more gardening videos. Talk to you later. Bye.